<laughs> Buy now. Buy a dog. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Day Shift of Freddy's. You may be wondering, why am I right here? Why why are you here right now? Well, that's a very good answer there, dear viewer. Very good answer. Question. I can do vocabulary. That was a question, not an answer. I'm sorry. But, you may be wondering, why are you here? Why are you back right now? What did you do? Why does it say Dave in the bottom corner? What did you do with Dave? Well, I'll tell you. Oh, also I named my character Matt. Because I can. So. I never got the ending for Day Shift of Freddy 2 where you get Foxy to do the bite of 87 when you team up with Dave. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Because when I first played it, I did the Balloon Boy. I got the pure evil ending. And I was incredibly confused. And we never went back and did Wizard Foxy. Oh, you chose the facts. A, hey, what a grand choice, old sport. Yes, phone guy's favorite, isn't it? Sorry, let me explain. I once threw Gaxi into the Grand Canyon to fuck with Phony. Uh, you what? He, he did what? That is something I want to see. Can we do that again this time? That was just awful, old sport. Corn is done of nineteen eighty seven. Tell me about the diner. Who oh, works there? Not that many people. Before Freddy's bought it, Henry and I worked the day shift. We had a quick name Ronaldo. Pretty sure he got a job at Freddy's after Fred Bears closed down. Also had night guard, but I don't remember a lot about him. He had a mustache. If I recall correctly, he got stuffed into one of our spare suits, I think. Henry told me that he walked on a guy dying in one of the suits, right in front of him. He didn't even put the poor bastard out of his misery. Oh, that's us. He's talking about the main character. Ah. Yeah, so we were the night guard at Fred Bear's. Interesting how Dave... Interesting how Dave does not remember anything about him. Such a huge coincidence. Surely... Surely there's a path somewhere in one of these games where eventually Dave finds out... How much we actually knew him and Henry. Surely. And I did see that there was a Day Shift of Freddy's 3, so... It's probably in that game somewhere, and not this one. He just left and let the poor fucker ride right away by himself, in the bloody suit. Unable to even move, let alone scream out for help. I tell you, even by my standards, Henry was one cruel fucker. How do you feel about a Freddy's Horror attraction? I'm gonna be honest, old sport. If I end up as an exhibit in a horror attraction, as a rotting corpse, stuck in a green bunny costume, I must be real pissed. That's called foreshadowing. Time for... What the? What? What the fuck? What? This is not... That's not me. This is the phone guy. Uh, uh. Must have fallen asleep at my desk again. Oh gosh, today's Saturday, isn't it? Are we gonna be Are we gonna be playing as the phone guy now? Ooh, exciting! Uh, you know. All right, Scott. Today is the day of the party. Your last chance to fix everything and make everything right again. Uh, uh. You can do it. It's just one party, one measly sting operation. You've held parties before, Scott. Are we gonna, are we gonna capture Dave? Uh, whatever. I better go see if the others are ready for the party. The police are going to be here later. They need to sit Dave down and have a good long chat with him. And by that, I mean they're gonna spear tackle him and fucking arrest him. Uh, uh, oh. Uh, my head's ringing. <laughs> my head's ringing. <laughs> hello? Hello? Hello, this is Freddy Fazbender's in California. This is Scott speaking. This is the LAPD. 
Uh, I uh, fired Matt, like I said I would. The employees know to watch for him in case he tries to come into work. Good, good. We know to go for him after we've gotten Miller, as for your instructions. Uh, you don't know. forget your part of the bargain. We hand over Dave, and you don't shut down Freddy's. Right? Correct, sir. We're making our way down to Freddy's now. We'll be there for about 4 p.m. Hello, is this Scott Thompson? Hey, it's Dave. Uh, uh, yes, uh, it's me. Is that you, Dave? Uh, Why uh, did you call my phone, Dave? I need to ask you a question, Scott. Uh, uh, Where are you? Why aren't you in work, Dave? You're late for work, employee. Uh, you know. Okay, what's the question? And Freddy, do you have children inside your robots? Uh, uh, what? I... What? Oh, you do? Well then, you'd better let them down. <laughs> oh, this is just... Uh, I see, we're seeing phone guy's perspective. You know what we do if workers who are caught in Springlock failures? No, I don't. Please tell me. Please tell me about this so-called factory. Oh, I see. So, he's going to the factory, then. Why does this music just get eerie? Why does the music get eerie every time this factory is mentioned? Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Are you okay there, Mr. Kazan? Uh, you know what? No. Uh, I'm know. not sending Jimbo to the factory. The factory's gone on long enough. Uh, uh, After the police are done with Dave and Matt, I'm giving them an actual burial. Yes, sure thing, boss. So, that's a note on the whole dumpster meat thing. Uh, I'm afraid so, Ronaldo. Anyway, I should check if... Uh, you know. Yep, that'd be Dave, all right. I'll catch you later, Ronaldo. So, that's definitely a no-no. Uh, don't serve our dumpster. Don't sell. Don't serve our customers dumpster meat. Goodbye, Ronaldo. Bye. Have a great time. Here comes Dave. Uh, Where the heck is um, uh, Dave? Uh, Dave, you around? Hey, Dave. Dave, come here. Hello. Why, hello there, old phone. So, uh, Dave, you came into work. Better late than never, I suppose. You're not gonna chew me out, Scott. Something the matter. Oh, wait. No, no, I... I honestly don't have the time to lecture you. Okay, employee? Uh, 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 I'm very busy today, Dave. I need to get suited up right now. Can you do that for me, Dave? No fucking way. Oni, I ain't wearing that filthy rabbit suit of yours. Make the janitor wear it or something. Oh, wait. What the fuck, Dave? Uh, uh, You're really uh, pushing it, Dave. Go put your costume on. Nah, fuck that shit. You wear the rabbit suit. Go get suited up right this second, employee. Nah, only I ain't following the rules no ho. Uh, what have you ever done that? You murder children every single time you get a job here. I'm not putting on a damn suit, Scott. I'm done with your rules, Mr. Lawman. Uh, uh, Dave, I swear to gosh, you're gonna wear the rabbit suit and you are going to like it. Also, Dave, when have you ever followed the rules? Like... Why are you saying, I'm not following the rules no more? You've never followed the rules in the first place. You know what I'm gonna do, Only I'm gonna take the deer. <laughs> Your what? Oh, Dave emerged. <laughs> what the fuck uh, is this? You know. Really, Dave? A battle scene? Uh, you are so fired. You think I give a fuck? It's pickle time, Only. What is going on? Uh, uh, Dave. Uh, Come on, just wear the suit, okay? I refuse. I hate that suit. It's tacky, and it smells like slaughtered toddlers. That's because you... Uh. It smells like slaughtered toddlers because you slaughtered toddlers while you were wearing it! Ain't I a goofball? 
That's one way to put it, I guess, Dave. <laughs> Ow! Dave! You told me that you were gonna tickle me, not hit me. I also told you that I wasn't gonna murder a bunch of kids this time round. I'm clearly not to be trusted. I've had it up to here with you, Dave. You're adorable when you're mad. <laughs> Ooh, nice hit. Only. I almost felt it. Try this on full size. Uh, Ouch. Uh, Stop hitting the phone. Chill out, man. I'm just having some fun. Uh, Is killing children your idea of fun, Dave? You think I kill kids cause I find it fun. I don't just strangle kids cause I find it fun. I'll have you know. Uh, oh, uh, do educate me. Why else would you do it? The revenge. Uh, uh, Re revenge? What a load of... What have I ever done to you? Oh, it isn't just you. Only, it isn't just everyone here, either. Oh, the music's changed. I'm not just killing children, Scott. I'm killing Freddy's. I just don't get it. You've been doing this for so long. What kind of grudge could possibly force you to do... this? Freddy's ruined us, Scott. Freddy's destroyed my dream. Our dream. His dream. Who is he? Dave? You're scaring me. <laughs> Dave, you're scaring me now. Look at all the piss in my pants. Freddy's is the worst. Everyone loves Freddy fucking fast bender. What? Nobody ever gives a shit about the people who have to live in that bear's shadow. Freddy's is the steamroller. It just oh, Dave's the crying. People. people who have dreams. Freddy's is too big for its own good. It's a monster. Monsters make people desperate, and desperation turns people into monsters. Freddy's creates monsters. I mean, have you ever looked in a mirror, Scott? Your head is a plastic rotary phone. Uh, I... Come on, let's not bring phone monster, heads into the... Scott, your life is fake. Your memories are manufactured. Your kids are fake. There's 50 more of you rotting in the factory. You are nothing. Phone guy was defeated. Pathetic. This whole sting operation is pathetic. I'll be right back. If you'll excuse me, I'll be in party room one. In a frenzied state of damage control. Okay, let's go. Oh no, not again. What is that? I call this beauty nightmare fancy. Oh, Sport and I worked on it last night, together. Oh, you must say this, Oni. We've turned your soulmate into a literal nightmare fuel. F uh, Foxy, what have they done to you? <laughs> you sick oath. This is beyond messed up. You gave it those teeth and... <laughs> You should have just left well enough alone, Oni. This is what happens to people who don't know how to mind their own fucking business. What, they get bite of 87? Oh, hello. Yeah. Bye, facts. Oh, what? <laughs> Was that the bite of 87? Good fucking going, old sport. We've fucked up the phone's life yet again. So, Vegas? Vegas. That was... Interesting. <laughs> that will be where we leave it for this episode, though. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and goodbye. <laughs>